So this is um, just a quick response video to an, an interesting video I just saw on Numberphile, uh, Bertrand's Paradox, um, about placing a random chord through a circle. And these are my thoughts on it. Um, I don't dare to imagine that uh, it hasn't been approached in this way before, but this is how it immediately occurred to me. So instead of starting with the circle and placing the chord on it, I said, start with the chord and then randomly place the circle on it. Um, effectively, it's the same thing. They've got to intersect each other. So giving the chord a radius of one, um, the circle can be anywhere within that yellow band. Um, I'm saying a chord um, can be where it just touches the circle. The, the difference is uh, um, insignificant. So the circle can be anywhere within the yellow band below for the line to intersect it and call it a chord. So giving the circle unit radius, radius is one, then the yellow band has a height of four. Four radii, four times one is four. So the center of the circle can be anywhere within the middle two of that band. So um, two is basically two radii of the circle. So, so the center of the circle can be anywhere within that green band, which has a height of two. So when the chord is root three, then the base of an inscribed triangle can sit on the chord. I've done a slight little animation to show that once it gets down to there then the base of the triangle is sitting on the chord so the length of the chord is equal to the side of that equilateral triangle and as was already established in a previous uh, in the previous video there's an angle in there of 30 degrees the radius is one so trigonometry gives us a height there of a half from the center of the circle to the base of the equilateral triangle, and therefore um, a length from the base of the equilateral triangle to the circumference of the circle of also a half. So when the chord is longer than the base of the triangle, then the center of the circle falls within the purple band. So if uh, the center of the circle is within that purple band, then the chord ends up being longer than the base of the triangle. But if the center of the circle is above the purple band, then the chord is shorter than the base of the triangle. So that middle purple band has a width of one unit. So the center of the circle must fall within the green band that we saw had a width of two units. And the chord ends up being longer than the base of the triangle if the center of the circle is within the purple band, one unit. So the probability of the chord being longer than the base of the triangle is one out of two. And that's how I saw it.